Ever wondered why some people, especially women, can be so enchantingly charming yet incredibly toxic at the same time? Could they be covert narcissists? Covert narcissism is a less obvious, more insidious form of narcissism compared to its overt counterpart. They operate under a facade of insecurity, shyness, or false modesty. But don't be fooled. Beneath this seemingly harmless exterior lies a personality riddled with toxic traits. From exploiting others and obsessing over social status to being overly vain and using their sex appeal to coerce, covert narcissists have an arsenal of tactics that can be damaging to those around them. They may seem self-absorbed and overly sensitive, often playing the victim card and resorting to passive aggression and manipulation. They are also known for their instability in work, life and relationships. Now that we've set the stage, it's time to dive deeper into the traits of female covert narcissists. Insecurity, shyness or reservedness sounds like an unlikely narcissist, right? But let's delve deeper. Covert narcissists often wrap themselves in a cloak of apparent humility using these traits as a mask. It's a deceptive strategy to attract sympathy and attention, playing on the natural human instinct to protect and nurture. This tactic allows them to fly under the radar, drawing unsuspecting individuals into their web. Remember, not all that glitters is gold, and not all who are shy are innocent. Have you ever met someone who never admits their fault? They might be a covert narcissist. This trait is a signature move in their playbook, never taking responsibility for their actions, but rather laying blame on others or external circumstances. They are experts at deflecting and diverting, often making you second-guess your own perspective. It's as if their mirror reflects only perfection and any flaws are simply projections from the outside world. So beware of the blame game. It's a classic covert narcissist move. Petty arguments and the inability to see the bigger picture can be more than just annoying traits. These can be indicators of covert narcissism. Covert narcissists often fixate on minor issues, blowing them out of proportion and refusing to let them go. They struggle to grasp the broader context, focusing instead on trivial matters that serve their self-interest. This narrow-mindedness can disrupt communication and relationships. So next time you encounter pettiness, think twice. It could be a sign of covert narcissism. Ever notice someone overly obsessed with social status? They might be more than just status conscious. They're drawn to the spotlight, craving recognition and admiration. They meticulously curate their social image, using it as a tool to manipulate others. Their obsession is not about success, but about superiority. Their worth is tied to their status and they'll do anything to maintain it. So the next time you see someone obsessed with status, consider the possibility they might be a covert narcissist. Ever met someone who always seems to be the victim, no matter the situation? This is a hallmark of the victim playing covert narcissist. They're crafty, spinning tales so convincingly that they appear as the perpetual underdog, the constant victim of unfair circumstances or unkind people. But why do they do this? It's a manipulation tactic. By painting themselves as the victim, they can easily garner sympathy, attention, and even turn people against those they perceive as threats. They use their feigned vulnerability as a tool to control the narrative, to control others and ultimately to control their world. The harm this causes is significant. It can fracture relationships, ruin reputations and leave genuine victims unheard and unsupported. It's a toxic cycle that can be incredibly hard to break free from. So the next time you encounter someone who always seems to be on the receiving end of life's hardships, take a moment to look closer. Remember, perpetual victimhood can be a mask for covert narcissism. Bullying or mean girl behavior can be more than just cruel. It can be a sign of covert narcissism. Now let's delve into this. Covert narcissists can often resort to bullying or mean behavior as a tactic to exert control and gain power. It's not just about the thrill of dominance, it's a calculated move. These individuals relish in the discomfort of others, using their vulnerabilities as a weapon. They manipulate situations, spreading rumors and fostering discord, all while maintaining a facade of innocence. It's their way of asserting superiority, of reminding others of their place in the pecking order. Their behavior is a reflection of their own deep-seated insecurities and ego fragility. The power they feel in belittling others is a desperate attempt to bolster their own self-esteem. It's a toxic cycle, one that breeds fear and resentment. So the next time you see someone being a bully, don't dismiss it. It could be a sign of something more sinister.